Hi, I'm Sarah Savage, and I would love to be considered for the data visualization and analytics training role at Story IQ. This role excites me because it combines my two great passions, training and data. I spent 10 years as a middle school teacher, and in my most recent role, I had the opportunity to design and deliver data analysis training sessions for school leadership teams and groups of educators. Nothing brings me greater joy than that aha moment when a complex concept suddenly makes sense. You know, that look on a session attendee's face when you just know that they not only understand the concept, but they are already thinking of ways that they can incorporate this new knowledge into their work. Spreadsheets and data visualization tools can be intimidating to people without a math and science background. But I truly believe that anyone can develop the data skills to help make their problem solving more efficient and their presentations much more dynamic. I'm living proof of that. An English teacher who majored in theater in college, who is now an Excel expert and very proficient at a number of other data tools. An unforgettable training experience starts with connecting to your audience. You've got the first 10 seconds or so, and that is it to really engage their interest. Starting with an anecdote that shows relatability is a tool that I often use to help them see me as one of them, as on their side and not some dry lecturer or intimidating expert. Another technique for which I have my days as a middle school teacher to thank is that you have to be able to switch it up sometimes. If your message isn't landing, if it's too hot in the room, if your session was scheduled right after lunch, any number of factors can contribute, but we all know that glazed over look in an audience's eyes when you know they aren't absorbing anything. When my middle school students got that look, I would give everyone a movement break or play a quick round of musical desks. If all else failed, I would start singing my lecture points to them. These techniques work surprisingly well with adult, adult audiences too. I haven't sung to adult audiences yet, but I'm not ruling it out. Lastly, and this is actually the most important one for a compelling training session, is that the trainer has to truly be passionate about the subject. This is something that you just cannot fake. Someone who is genuinely passionate about the subject that they are teaching will always draw the audience in. I have managed to get 13 year olds excited about diagramming sentences and groups of jaded, exhausted teachers excited about interpreting standardized testing data. I feel confident that I can get corporate audiences excited about learning data visualization tools. One thing you should know about me is that I am very good at breaking down highly technical language into terms that anyone can understand. In my previous role, I was perched between the psychometricians and our customers, who were primarily school leadership teams with limited time and little to no background in statistics. Sitting in on meetings with the program directors who both had PhDs, I learned about p-values, smoothing the data, item response theory, theory, normative distribution curves, confidence intervals, margins of error, the slide decks would come to me with so much text, complicated graphics, too many numbers and tables. They made it impossible for the average educator to understand how to read them or to even know what they were supposed to be looking at. So I summarized, I made relatable comparisons. I focused on the numbers and the graphs that were the most impactful. For groups that were more familiar with the material, we could go deeper, we could get a little more technical. So I am very good at gauging the audience, asking the right questions up front, and then adapting the material so that they can be accessible to everyone.